it's a good thing I didn't go in. Imagine me busting in on a yoga class, demanding salt that smells like sulfur. And that's fart to you. Today's episode, how you doing to our and welcome to Stories of My Life. So today, Tuesday, Stockholm, Sweden, the sun is out and I'm inside. I'm still at the theatre, washing, mostly, yeah, washing costumes and packing stuff. But at lunch, I will go out and get some sun and also try to find that, remember that I was slightly obsessed with that Kalak, Kalak something salt? And also there's uh, this um, cream, face cream, that I, someone recommended that I also want. You know me, fear of being lost without it. So I just had lunch, that lovely pasta I made yesterday um, with fennel and red onion. Was that it? Yes, I guess that's it. That was the sort of, the wow. Oh, it's fennel. Uh, anyway, now I'm going to go search for that salt I've been looking for. Well, I've been looking. Yeah, I've been more. I've been more obsessed than I've been looking. Actually, and when I wrote about my obsession with that specific salt, I've got a lot of replies and people here on Instagram told me where to buy it in Stockholm. And first of them were Sabina's mother, Pia. So thank you. I will try that shop first, Zeta. But first I will go looking for a body lotion that I just read about online. Some really cool person so said this is great. So I will be looking for this. Uh, I, I will start looking at a place called Taj Mahal. Uh, a wig beauty shop, I think. I'm going for to sort of an alternative sort of yoga place behind Dancer's House, which is called the, da the House of Dance which is sort of the big stage here in Stockholm for modern dance, not ballet, because that would be the opera. So join me as I try to find my way. Oh, that car looks really busted. Oh, can you see it? Disgusting. So I came upon this. I'm not sure what it is. People are standing about. Is it is there a fire somewhere? Not sure. Huh. Anyway, I'm going up there. So I think it's something in here because that's where the cops are. So, false alarm, possibly? I was about to say, I can really smell the taste of burning and then I realise I'm going by a hot dog stand and that's the sort of the grilled hot dogs that smell like burning. So anyway, look at me, like a roving reporter here for your enjoyment. By the way, over there is the place called Danson's Hoos, but we are going up here. So, there it is, the, haunts of, the House of Dance, the Dance of House. We are going to go to Parallel Street behind it. Can't even remember the name of the sort. Kalak something. So here's the stage door for Danson's Hoos, and here is. Is it this? Or maybe it is. It's a good thing I didn't go in, because I didn't go in, because I didn't do my research properly. I go back, get, go back. I went back and checked uh, what Pia wrote, and she said opposite Dancers Who. So I guess I just presumed it, because there's nothing really opposite. But maybe I should go, yeah, to the entrance of Dancers Who and see what happens there. Join me for salt. It's a good thing I didn't go in. Imagine me busting in on a yoga class, demanding salt that smells like sulfur. And that's fart to you. Yes, people, I am willingly buying salt that smells like flatulence. Why? Well, we don't ask those questions. Okay, this looks better, right? This is not a yoga studio. Hmm. Here it is, people. Kala namak. Kala namak. Kaka namak akala. Kala namak. Yes, I will forget it as soon as I put this down. What's the name of the salt? Kaka namak. Now it's on to Palmer's Cocoa Buttercream. 
and it's supposed to be here, Tai Mahal. You see it in there? No, I would be asking for it. Oh, this one found it. Yeah. And that's not anything like this thing. Or, no, no. That's... So, here we go. I will be looking beautifully with uh, soften. My rough, dry skin will have been softened in a lovely way. Now it's back to work. Now we'll pass that um, supposedly fire on my way to work. So I can report to you if there's a fire or not. As you can see, there is no fire and the workers seem to have gone back to work. So no drama, no drama, Mary G. Blige. No, no more drama. Just let someone pass at the zebra crossing. No more drama, as she said, Mary J. Blige. So I got a guest, this is Sabina, and her mother was the one who told, told me about this, where to go and get this. And you did, your, you, were, you were educated at this shop. Not at the shop, but, but at the ones who have the shop, shop uh, yeah. Exactly, Veda Lula. And this is apparently really good for you. Mm. It's almost seven o'clock and I've been um, at it like a madman. But now I'm going home and uh, by way of a grocery store because I need to buy that minced meat that prohibit me, <laughs> prohibited me yesterday from making that macaroni casserole. Yes, I plan to do it tonight. Uh, yeah. And also I realised I sort of woke up and went straight to work and I forgot to upload today's videos to YouTubes so and to Instagrams so those might be a little late for those of you who wait for them. This is a really great hoodie isn't it? Okay so there's going to be a change of plan because I found vegan bratwurst really inexpensive so it's going to be yeah, that instead. Sorry, people who were waiting for minced meat pies. No, what was it? Oh, well, the thing I was going to make, anyway. So, oh God, look at that. Mm. And I also found vegan mashed potatoes. Well, in a box. So I didn't buy any minced meat, vegan minced meat, because I realized tomorrow night, I, I, I won't have time to eat it because tomorrow at night I'm going to the theatre with my son. The day after that I'm going to the theatre with my son. Yeah, my son twice. And then after that, Chris, no wait, Casper is coming. Uh, and I could have made them then. So, yeah, but not for two nights anyway. I will starve. Yes, I'm doing everything at once. And this time it worked. Lovely. People, <laughs> this is my vegan dinner. It's, uh, yeah, it's hot dogs with vegan hot dogs, bratwursts in bread and <laughs> in a, a blanket of mashed, vegan mashed potatoes, ketchup and sauerkraut. Yeah. Oh God, me hungry now. Goodbye. Well, of course, I couldn't say goodbye or good night without having a taste test of that Kalak Namak. So I took two uh, hot dog buns and I sort of put some mayo on it. And now I'm going to try it. What will it be? No, first I'm going to smell it. Here it is. And here are the hot dog buns and uh, oh, this little safety thing. Oh, so uh, let's have a taste. No, let's smell it. So it's supposed to smell quite sulfurous, like farts or egg. Does it? No, it, it smells more like, like the shop, sort of like yoga spices. So let's try tasting it. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. 
that might be too much. Okay. Weird. When it's out of the... Now it smells um, eggish, to be polite. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is... It really tastes like eggs. Okay, this is fantastic. This, I'm absolutely obsessed. It really tastes like egg. The, and the mayo makes it taste like egg salad. Okay, I'm sold. Kalanamak. Oh, <laughs> mm, love it. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.